Hi, I'm Father Randy, and I'm speaking straight from the heart. And I'm back at Sacred Heart in my office. It's a little cold for a hike today. And I'm here because I want to talk to you about the book of Revelation. We're at the end of the, the year. We're celebrating the Feast of Christ the King this Sunday, which is the last Sunday of the church year, and we'll start over again with Advent. And the readings this week are about the end times, about the book, you know, from the book of Revelation in particular. So I'd like to take them a minute to talk about that. I, I taught high school, and, and, and when I taught the book of Revelation, I'd always stress the, the, the symbolic language the, the, the metaphors used, the allegories used. It's a very uh, strange and magical book in many ways, but it's trying to tell us very specific things. So, for example, in today's, gospel, in today's first reading from Revelation, we hear about the throne, and uh, standing before the throne, or surrounding the throne, I saw 24 other thrones on which 24 elders sat. And you know, who are those 24? Well, scholars tell us the 12 tribes represent the Jewish people. And when Jesus came for the whole world, we doubled that. So 12 for the Jews and 12 for the Gentiles. All of humanity are, are celebrating uh, the victory of Christ in his resurrection. And then it goes on and tells us about four creatures around the throne. A lion, a calf, or an ox, a man, a human, and an eagle. And these four represent all of natural creation. The lion is the greatest of wild animals. The ox is the greatest of domestic animals. The eagle is the greatest of all birds. And the human, of course, is the greatest of all of God's creation. Now, these four animals were actually, these four uh, creatures were actually taken from the book of Ezekiel, and are used in church iconography to represent the four evangelists, the complete uh, revelation of God's uh, good news to the world, all creatures. And so, and this is where I'm going to, this is why I'm really in the office today. Uh, we don't have this image in our, in our church, but I want to show you, if I can do it correctly, this image of the four evangelists. And this is just one. You go to many traditional churches and you'll see these four creatures with the four evangelists. So starting from our left, we have Matthew with the human figure at his feet. And of course, each of the evangelists has a halo because he's a saint. He has a book and a, and a, and a quill in his hand because he wrote the, the gospels. And the, the, the creatures all have wings because they are the heavenly inspiration for their writings. So Matthew is associated with the human. Mark is next with a lion at his feet. And Luke has the ox. And the last one is John with the eagle. Now, um, oh, and I'll show you. This is my background picture. That's me in the middle with the full head of hair uh, at my first vows back in 1986. And that background is the wall of Sacred Heart Church where I took first vows. And those four evangelists and those four images, as I said, can be found in many, many different churches. Um, and they represent God's revelation to us. As we hear God's word, as we celebrate um, God's presence during this next weekend's Feast of Christ the King. We recognize that God is king over all creatures, over all the earth, over all of us. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.